Hello, Onshape iPad users. Okay, this video is going to show you how to use the loft tool and the offset plane tool. So let's get right into it. But before we do, um, sometimes these planes get a little annoying. There's so many, the front, right, top, and every time you do something, there's more to look at. So if you look over on the left, okay, we can actually toggle these planes on and off as we want them. Sometimes I just like them to be off. I'm going to leave the origin on because I like that. If I wanted to use Sketch 1 again, I could turn that on. I don't. Uh, but there we go. They're kind of out of our way. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an offset plane on this. So if I go up to hit the 3D tab, kind of like the solids tab, there is a plane button down on your screen. I'm going to click that. All right. And notice that plane tab, you might have to pull this up to see it but it says no entity selected. So I'm going to select the top of this. You'll notice what it did is it put a plane up above. It's offset. If the plane type, if you look at that on the bottom box there, it says offset plane. You actually have a bunch of options here, but offset's the best for what we're going to do now. I use mid plane option as well. There's a mid plane option there, but we're just going to use offset. This plane's hovering. It's actually hovering one inch above i'm going to change that to 1.5 inches just to to do it you can also toggle it here if you want by pulling the arrow up and down i'm just going to reset that back to 1.5 and then hit the check mark i'm done now you see i've got this plane that's hovering that allows me to sketch um in a spot that's not exactly right on the object okay so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to hit sketch i'm going to select that plane and of course, on shape doesn't rotate for us. So what I'm going to do is go over to my cube and rotate there. If you want to use just one finger to rotate to a to a spot that you're comfortable sketching, that that's fine too. I prefer to look straight on if I can. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just for the purpose of this demonstration, put a circle. What you're doing might not be exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to center my circle at the origin. All right, and I'm going to finish my sketch by clicking the check mark, and there we go. I've got a circle hovering up above my object. Now, what we can do using the loft tool is connect the top of our pentagon to the circle. So I'm going to go back into my 3D solids tab, and there's a tool right up top that says loft. Okay? I'm going to click that. If you look, it's immediately in orange on the right asking me for profiles. So. What I'm going to do is select the top of the pentagon, and I'm going to select my circle, and bang, you'll notice that it immediately is joining those two shapes together. Okay, uh, I've got other options here. I can actually remove, uh, there's no, nothing for me to remove, but say I wanted to remove, so like cut out some material, I could do that, as well as some other options. Um, but this is good for now. I'm going to hit check. I'm going to get rid of my plane. I don't need it anymore. And so you can see it took my pentagon and kind of joined it to that circle. Um, that's called the loft tool.